Welcome back guys, we're back in another WordPress tutorial and this time we're going to be going over how you can start a blog and then make some money from it. We're going to start off first with where you actually get started with a the blog, then move on to how to build your blog, followed by how to make your blog successful and then finally we're going to go over the ways of how you can use it to make money. So let's get started first with hosting and you're going to need good hosting. The way that it works is that you need a domain name, so your www. and you also need a place that is going to host your site. Of course here at Seekerhost we do offer both and you can get yourself a PBM blog, a WordPress site or a domain just for Follow the link down in the description and you'll be able to go check out the packages. They start as little as 95p per PBM blog um, and they get less the more blogs that you have and it's about a pound 50 per WordPress site so it really is quite minimal the price that you're going to pay every month for a website. Next up you need a niche really if you're going to be starting a blog you want to find out what in particular that you're going to be offering that maybe other people aren't offering or if they are what you're going to be doing to making it better than theirs. So try and figure out what your niche is maybe you're doing a food blog so maybe it's like uh, really awesome recipes maybe it's a gaming blog so you've got like the you know the, the best gaming news out there it's going to be coming out faster and you're going to have better written articles than everybody else it might be news or whatever your niche is just make sure that you actually understand um, what you're going to be doing what you're going to be focused on so you can stay focused throughout the whole um, building of your blog and talking about building the blog uh, that will lead me on nicely to the structure you need to structure your blogs well obviously think about the structure first because again depending on your niche your structure is going to be different if you have a news article website you're going to want it to look a little bit different and have different functions than whether you you have just a blog about food the same as if you run a makeup website you might want lots of different sections for different beauty tips whereas for a news blog you want um, a different section looking with lots of different articles and maybe just showing the main articles first because that's primarily what your blog's going to be about next up is audience and also you got to think about who your audience is who are the people that you want to actually attract to your site because really you're going to be you're going to need to think about how to get these people in because there's no point trying to aim towards everybody without a specific audience although you know you can make a general site that's going to be a lot harder than if you're targeting a specific niche so you can actually think of keywords for it. We're going to get onto keywords a little bit later on in the video but this is a very important thing so knowing your niche, having a good structure and also understanding who your audience is and what they're going to be looking for is very important. So let's get down to building your blog now. Let's say you've decided all of the previous things that we've just spoke about now and you want to actually get started with building it. Of course we do have lots of tutorials all the way from start to finish of um, the building a blog and this is all the way from purchasing the domain to getting the hosting to literally having a complete website up there to just go ahead and design on. Once you buy your package you are most likely going to be using the standard uh, WordPress editor and that's one of three ways that we're going to discuss today how you can build your pages. Of course with the standard editor the way that it's going to work is that you're going to have blocks and um, you can have one block there and then underneath will be a different block. You can choose what that's going to be whether it's going to be like an image or a paragraph, um, a heading, what type of heading and you can choose all of that whilst you're building your blog. Just think about it as a page that you're filling in from the top all the way down to the bottom. One beauty about WordPress is that there is no need for coding you can of course switch over to HTML code if you do want to change something that way and you do actually know a bit of coding if you don't don't worry though that's not a problem um, it's not built for people that need to code uh, that's why it's got so many different themes and uh, appearances that you can just do with a few clicks as well as just using your page builders you can uh, pick themes on WordPress so you can choose a certain theme towards maybe social media if you're trying to build that sort of blog you can choose a business theme e-commerce theme they've got thousands of themes not only that they're all free if you do want to go for a paid version they also have some even better a premium versions however the free versions are really good and they're going to be offering you a lot of features um, another really good way of building your page is actually Elementor which is a plugin that you can install so when you start off your WordPress and you start off your blog install Elementor and it's basically a page builder it's a drag and drop page builder so as you can see on the screen right now um, we can choose how many blocks we want in this particular section so it's just a little bit more complex than the standard page builder and then it's simply a case of dragging and dropping um, the image or the heading over into that box however this does give you a wide a range of uh, what you can actually do with the editor compared to the standard one um, if you click the advanced or style menu options you can choose anything from the motion whether it will just pop up or appear on the page how long it will take you can change uh, borders colors and everything like that so that's a really awesome way of designing your blog too next up how to make your blog successful in order to actually earn some income posting regularly is going to be a big part of this you can of course just do uh, an odd post every now and again however the more uh, you post and the more regularly you post uh, means more people will actually view it Google and other search engines are going to notice um, if you are posting more regularly, especially if you have got long content and it's actually of good value too. Another way is to build backlinks. This is going to grow your site majorly um, and it's one of the main ways used. If you can actually reach out to some people in your niche or in a niche that's actually quite close to yours, something that you could help hand in hand with almost, um, you reach out to them and ask for a backlink. A lot of the time, you know, I'm not going to lie, you will get ignored. 
However, if you do offer some sort of incentive, that's really going to help. Let's say you're a photographer, you might um, approach a, a wedding business perhaps online, maybe send them an email, um, and then just in that email, just explain, I do photography, um, these are my pictures, if you'd like to use me, I will also recommend you, um, and perhaps give them a link too. Now this will give them some sort of incentive rather than just seeing the email and thinking, well, why would I leave a link to their site anyway? So put in a bit of time, uh, do your research, maybe use Ahrefs to see uh, other websites in your niche um, and see who they're linking to, uh, perhaps maybe use something in that sort of category. Let's say you have a Minecraft blog, you might want to uh, go to a gaming community and say, oh hi, would you uh, be able to maybe link me? I, I uh, leave links to your site all the time, I find your site really great, lots of information and it helps my community too. But you get the idea, you can try and reach out to people and see if you can just build some good backlinks uh, over to you, because what that's going to do is it's going to some of that SEO power over to you. Backlinks are essential because um, in effect what it does is it gives a lot of the power from that site that's giving you the backlink. If it's a do follow backlink of course, if they're doing a no follow backlink um, it will help, so it might send some people your way but it's not quite as good, it's not going to give you some of that SEO power that you want coming to your site. That's basically about domain authority and if you get a link from a really authoritative site, um, someone that gets thousands of visitors, scores really well with Google um, and then they link to you, that's going to be really good, it's going to send a lot of traffic and it's going to give uh, your blog a lot of power too. And of course, as you would imagine, you do need a great looking site. The better your site looks and the better features that you have, uh, the more easy to use it is for visitors coming onto your site. That's going to bode better for you because they're going to be able to find their answer easier or whatever content they've come onto your site to look for. Of course, if you do have a site or a blog that's really hard to navigate, they, they might just not be able to find what they want and then they'll just exit the site and look somewhere else. Of course, the search engines will then realize this and score you a little bit worse because they're realizing that people can't find what they want. They can't find the answer on this particular site and um, so let's send them to another site so just make sure that your appearance and your structure are both pointed towards your niche and they're very much tailored towards it this is something I don't hear mentioned a lot but it's uh, adding your blog to the Google search console it really is quite simple to do we do have a video that I'll leave a link for and that'll be popping up on the screen right now and after you do this what it allows uh, Google to do is easier index your page this means that you've added your page to Google you said oh can you please come and search my page it's live these are the pages um, it will then send its crawlers they'll read through your pages and then you're more likely to get answered for when people have a search query. So these crawlers will go through, they'll index your site, they'll realize your site is there, they might see some keywords in it too. So then when people search for something and you got keywords popping up um, for their answer, they're gonna be suggesting your site. And that brings me on to keywords. As I said earlier, we're gonna explain a bit what keywords are, and these are the keywords that people use to actually search for your product. Let's say if I'm looking for a new blue coat, I might search new blue coat. Now that's gonna be a keyword. I might be searching new blue coat to buy, uh, blue coat sale or something like that. Now these are all keywords and Google recognizes these as keywords because um, these are what people search for the most and it also leads them to an answer, which is in this case, uh, I want to buy a coat. So they're gonna be uh, giving me the right answer for that, e.g. sales, e-commerce, somewhere like Amazon, somewhere that I can actually buy a coat from. Keywords are important because you need to realize what they're searching to actually find you. If you're searching for tutorials, for instance, I do a lot of Minecraft tutorials. So a lot of my keywords are actually tailored towards Minecraft tutorials, tutorials for beginners and I try and do my research to find out what people are searching for in my particular niche and then you can add that into your content let's say for instance I want to target the best Minecraft tutorial blog and I've noticed on Ahrefs it's getting a lot of searches and the, uh, the difficulty isn't that hard on it I'm going to be using them keywords all through my article I might have it in the title I'll have it in subheadings I'll have it throughout the content as well so then when Google is searching through my page it's going to realize oh, this, this page is actually uh, probably going to answer this person's questions. It seems to have a lot of the keywords that they're searching for. So make sure you do your research and put your keywords throughout your article. Of course, don't overdo it. Don't literally put a keyword every other sentence. That's going to sound silly. Google is also not silly and it will be able to recognize that you're doing this and it probably won't mention your article. It probably won't give it to somebody for an answer because that's more like keyword stuffing. So before we go on to how to make money out of this, uh, what you really want to be doing is trying to get over a thousand visitors a month because that's when your site is going to start looking attractive to other people to actually start uh, wanting um, services from there. So use all the points that we spoke about now, uh, keep on at it, you'll soon be hitting that thousand visitors per month mark. Now let's move on to ways that you can actually make money from it. You followed all of the steps before, you've hit that point now, you're a thousand, maybe a few thousand visitors every month, what can you actually do to make some money out of it? Google AdSense is one way and that is just applying to Google AdSense for your site to see if you can put like Google adverts and stuff like that and that basically works on a commission basis. If people are clicking on there you're going to earn a small commission. Uh, 
uh, depending on what the advert is if they click on it you might earn um, a few pence or a few cents or it might be if they actually go through and buy the product you're going to be earning a bit there and that's why and that's why it helps to have so many visitors coming through because if you have 10,000 visitors you're actually quite likely that maybe like 50 of them might actually purchase a product when they're reading through your article they might click on one of the uh, Google Ads and then earn some money that way by getting a small commission for people who click through there another way that's very similar is actually affiliate advertising what you're going to be doing again is having adverts on your site which of course people will click on and then you might earn a commission for everything they buy off it you can do you can do stuff like this for free right now if you go on Amazon affiliate search that out make an Amazon affiliate account and then they'll be giving you lots of product links um, or banners you can have banners on the top of your page you can have little links and pop-ups on your widget sections and you can even earn bounties from stuff like Amazon Prime so rather than making a commission you might get like three pound from every sign up so again this is why we try and achieve lots of visitors per month so once you're getting lots and lots of people in there you're much more likely to get a click guest posting is another great way to make some money off your site basically if you've got enough people coming onto your site it's going to make this look again quite attractive to other people maybe other people in your niche or people close to your niche um, that might actually want to advertise on your site they might see, see that you're getting like 10,000 visitors per month and they think okay well if I put a guest post up there with a link to my site that's going to really help me so they're willing to pay for this of course these stuff don't come free people do charge for guest posts and it can be really anywhere between like 10 pound or 200 pound uh, depending on what the site is how many visitors you get how close um, it is related to your site or their site and that's a really good way of making some money from your site now people do um, sell buy or sell backlinks and stuff like that I don't personally suggest that myself I think it's not the greatest way of doing it you can of course build a PBN uh, private blog network we're not going to go into that because that's a sort of slightly different subject if you do want to look into that we do have some videos um, and YouTube guides on how to do that but just straight up buying backlinks isn't great um, for one it's probably going to be quite a bad quality site if they're selling backlinks on there um, really primarily it's probably not going to have very many good features on there it's probably not going to be very well ranked with Google and they're probably quite soon going to find out that it's just a link building site um, because again there's not much content there's probably just going to be lots of links so although it might help your site temporarily it won't take very long for actually Google to realize that that's a bad site um, it's just stuffed full of links to other sites trying to like pass on some domain authority they'll then score that site bad and then all the links that are coming out of it will then score worse so in fact what would have helped you has not really helped you much anymore so for this I'd much more suggest guest posting so you can get an actual good article on there you can check the blog out if it's a good blog um, they're not likely to just shut the page down just because Google said oh um, you're, you're like a backlink page they're probably going to keep it up and of course you're paying for guest posts they've probably got some really well written and articles because of course people if they're guest posting about themselves and their websites they want to put a good article out there so it's going to be full of good information of course if you do sell other products as well or you can sell merch um, and you're getting that many visitors per month you can actually start selling your own products now um, or potentially make some products to sell you can set up an Amazon sellers account and maybe um, invest in something um, tailored towards your niche maybe if you you talk about kids related stuff you might start selling toys maybe if you're a music site you might start putting related content but anyway you could start selling your own products on there of course because you haven't this many people coming into the site you're going to get a few eyeballs on it um, and eventually the more people see it the more they're likely to actually click and purchase the product so thanks for watching guys and if you want any more videos like this make sure to check out the Seekerhost YouTube channel or of course the Seekerhost knowledge base we've got lots of different videos there anything from starting WordPress sites uh, building private blog networks how to migrate your site uh, buy a domain and all that sort of good stuff so we'll see you again next time on the next WordPress tutorial bye bye